Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can manipulate and manage adapters in SolidCam 2023 version. Um, what I have here is a pretty much standard part uh, that it's coming with SolidCam installation, and I'm going to open the toolkit. You can note that each one of these tools that are here are coming with a BT40. I'm over here using the UMC Haas uh, 1500 Duo, and for this, the BT is installed. As you can see, all of them, all of these tools have the same adapter. Now, let me go inside the post itself. I will open my VMID, and for each machine, which type uh, of the spindle uh, of the turret is a spindle, the station itself have, have here a default adapter type that can be predefined. Now over here, there's a list of uh, adapter types. Now you may wonder, is this a final list? How we can manipulate with this list? How we can add more? You can add any type of adapter type. And let me show you how you can do that. So, and from where this is coming from. So I will just do a toolkit and I'll just go to the settings. Inside the settings, there is something we call the default library name. And this is the library from which this adapters type will be listed. So this can be any of TLVs. Maybe you can make dedicated adapter TLV file. Um, but let me show you what this file actually includes. So this one, it's actually defined from SolidCAM itself. I'll just open this TLV file. And you can note here a lot of holders. But on top of it, there is a folder called adapter. And inside adapter, there are those, this is the list. Now the name is not important. What is important is the argument that all of these holders include. So you can find it here in the properties page. You can click it. And here you have relation to adapter and it is adapter itself. So there are different types of holders. So you can see over here, this one, is the, uh, just here, call it. So the relation to adapter is none. And there are also like STLs that are like HSK that include the adapter. In this case, this is set to none, but you can freely set, you know, include adapter itself. So if you want to manipulate with this list, what you need to do is simply, I'll, I'll just add this holder into adapters folder. Like, so I can rename it to ESO 40 or whatever. And in my properties page, just set this to as adapter. Save and exit. You can go back to your BMID file and you can find in the station, this one will be listed there. Okay, so the BT40 is here installed. Right. And let me go to toolkit again to show you a couple of features. You can go to view and you can find here settings. I'll open the settings and you can note one feature here available, adapter added automatically according to the machine. This is checked on my side and I'll just do uncheck seven exit. I'll just add it and will here. It will be added and you can see there is no holders there. Their adapter, adapter by default is not installed. So let me just go again to the settings and make sure this checkbox is on. I'll save and exit. Adding now a new end wheel will include this, the default that it selected from the VMID file. All right. Now, let me go further with this. Imagine that you have the same machine, but on this one, another machine that uses HSK adapter type. So in that case, I created two VMID files, which another one is using HSK. But let me show you that you can do these things in two different ways. The first way is using the find it and replace. So you can go find it and replace, type here the BT40. You can search, there are 22 components used here. As you can see, there is the BT40, but be careful because the BT40, this one, will be also listed. Ah, pot and find next. There you go. So in that, in those cases, 
it is better to use advanced search bar where you will type the BT40. It is an adapter and then click OK. Search and now it will be only 11 components. Then you can just select a component that you would like to be replaced with. And in that case, I'm going to use, for example, HSK, accept it, replace all, and all my now HSKs are there, so like you can see it. That's pretty cool, but I don't want to do it in that way. I want to show you another feature. This is the first way, and the second way, if that checkbox in the settings is checked, I can go to another VM ID where my HSK is used. I'm going to convert this part. I'm just going to continue. Click OK. OK. You can note that my HSK here is selected. And by default and automatically in my toolkit, this component is automatically replaced. I hope you found this video useful. Take care and have a great day.